Hi everyone, this is Jennifer with I Want You Colorado Springs, bringing you video interviews of local business owners and professionals. And today we've got a special guest. Tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, so do you want me to look at you or do you want me to look over here? You can look at me. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm Becky Levine. I am one of the founders of Valor Box, which is a nonprofit here locally in Colorado Springs that um, came, I actually started at the end of February. Okay, so, so that was yeah. really soon. Super soon. Wow. Yeah. So what made you decide to do this? Um, so I have, so Ballard Box is, um, it's targeted for Special Operations Forces, SOF Association. Um, and the reason why is because my brother is actually a part of it. And so mm -hmm. is uh, a couple of my family members are very heavily affiliated in it. And so um, every year for Christmas, my brother and I would joke around and we'd get, you know, Nerf guns or, right. you know, just fun toys, just being adults and want to get something fun, like kid toys. And uh, so that's kind of, that would be the Christmas presents year after year. Well, this last year, he's like, hey, will you get me this and this and this and this um, for when I deploy in February or January? And so that's kind of when it started heavy on my heart. And it, I had that idea two years ago, but I was like, oh, no, you know, they're fine, and they, they, they get the stuff that they want anyway, because I, I couldn't allow my dream to really get any bigger than that. And so finally this Christmas, when he asked for all these health and wellness things for his deployment, I thought, <clears> you know <throat> what, if he needs this, numerous people need it, and I just need to stop playing small with my life and go, and go bigger. So that, I mean, that brings a good point of, there are other people or other organizations that do care packages. Mm -hmm. So what makes Valorbox different? Yeah, so Valorbox is specifically targeted to each individual person based off their region. So where my brother was, it, he was in a hot environment, so his metabolism is different. Okay. Um, and then also, and then where my other family members were, they were actually in a colder environment literally like the North Pole-ish. Okay. And so their metabolism was different, their needs were different, and what they wanted. So I create, and plus it's not something that the world can know about, um, and it's not something that I can openly disclose, like, hey, oh, okay. this is where they're gonna be, and this right. kind of stuff, but because I'm so immersed into the population, it's easy for me to keep it confidential, but also get them the things that they need, um, because people are looking to get care packages. Right. And more often than not, when we would send my brother a care package, it would be you know, energy drinks and things to keep him awake, and you know, some stuff that he loved to eat, and then some other things, and you know, some of it wasn't necessarily the most healthy. And as they're getting older and in their profession, they have to be able to perform at a high profile environment. Right. And so their testosterone levels are very important to me, because it's what keeps them going and at what and what is they need that to sustain their job and also to sustain their relationships and their health long term. So right. I knew that I had a vehicle that I could use to create an opportunity to make these care packages that could sustain them long term while they're in the field and out of the and out of the field. And then eventually to help sustain their family too, as far as hormones mm -hmm. and health and that kind of stuff down the road. Now if like what's your what's your plan? For this, do you want it to be something that can be just nationwide and people who are in your type of situation as well, mm -hmm. all over, <clears throat> can kind of join forces with you and, mm -hmm. and do this in their area? Yeah, so my goal is to, as soon as when we get bigger and when we have, so my goal is to keep 90% of everything, um, all the money coming in, into the nonprofit okay. um, and then using less than 10% into administration fees. And that's actually very hard to come by in nonprofit organizations. In fact, most of the big wigs are doing one to two percent going into the nonprofit and then oh, the wow. rest is going into administration, wow. flying jets and airplanes and all the private things that they like to do. <laughs> and so I was I want to make I am making it a goal. It's a non negotiable goal that ninety percent has to go back into okay. administration or into the actual nonprofit and right. the ten percent can go for eventually like where I want to have a warehouse. And I want to have other different types of companies working with me to help build the most sustainable, healthy box. And so then when we get bigger, not only when we fully fund you know, our special operations soldiers, once we can fully fund them out of country, I want to be able to fully fund them a year round. So kind of like an adopt a soldier program. Okay. And then if we have so much money that we have to keep putting in this 90%, um, my goal is to fully fund their family because if their testosterone is off and you know their significant others hormones are off um, that it, it causes for autoimmune issues and it can be a world of world of health issues down the road so if I could be that vessel in prolonging and maintaining a healthy lifestyle for them I want to be that girl so how do people like you said adopt a soldier yeah. in a sense 
Yeah, so what people do is they can go on the website, valorbox.com slash donations, and they can pick. So right now we have a team that's getting ready to leave here, um, and we have to have them fully funded, Whew, which makes me so stressed out because we're in the beginning stages, right. you know, so we don't have thousands and thousands of dollars. And so if we fully fund this team, which is $18,000, it will take care of their each guy, there's 12 guys on the team, and it will take care of for their whole entire deployment. So each one of them will get six boxes, basically, of all of their health and wellness, nutritional needs that they need to create a sustainable lifestyle. And are there still fun things in there too? Or? Oh yeah, okay. so right now, yeah. And I mean, a lot of families, they'll send like magazines and fun stuff. Right. And so our goal is to get them the health and wellness basics now. Okay. And then we can play when we get more fully funded. So I'm kind of doing bare bones minimum is 18,000. Right. But then obviously, ultimately, I would love to get their bioidentical hormones in their boxes for them to help keep their testosterone. Um, I'd love to have other um, natural foods that are in packets that could go for them based off of where, they're, where they are and what missions and stuff that they've got going on. So I've been interviewing tons of these guys asking what do you want in a care package? Like what is it that you need specifically that you feel like will make your life a little bit easier? Because mm -hmm. the military does a really good job at providing those nutrients and things like that. But all of these guys do buy extra things, mm -hmm. you know, at other health food stores and things like that. And so I'm just making it a way that if people are looking to donate, they can just redirect it into a healthy living way. Okay. And then we'll do fun later. Okay. If we have to. <laughs> now, how are you getting, um, figuring out who you're going to use as suppliers? So, as far as, like, foods and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I actually work with a, a guy named Dr. Patrick Flynn. He's a doctor in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So, I go with him, and I bounce ideas back off of him and saying, hey, what kind of whole food, what kind of natural foods do you think is necessary to help keep their autoimmune, like, issues or inflammation in their gut low? Um, what about long-term sustainability as far as testosterone? What kind of foods do you think is going to have, you know, a good healthy fat versus, you know, a, or a complex carb, you know, things like that. I want to know, I'm constantly bouncing idea, ideas off of him mm -hmm. for testosterone issues and hormone issues for them. And then I have a, uh, another friend slash mentor up in Westminster, Denver, or Westminster, Colorado, Denver area who specializes in autoimmune, and so I'm constantly talking to him. So they will be the ones helping me provide what kind of foods go into the boxes and what don't, because we're gonna be very specific on what they need based off of what their body can absorb, things like that, um, based off of their research and what they specialize in. So I'm working with a lot of people to make sure that it's the right. best of the best of the best. Now, I'm sure this is probably a no, but if somebody wanted to donate to the box, like be a, be a supplier for some mm -hmm. of this stuff, is can they contact you about that or would you prefer to just purchase you know what you need and, and stuff like that it depends it depends on what it is so if it's something that matches in the health and wellness field let's say we want to get you know that uh, there's a local brand called Justin's almond butter yeah. and you can get it in prepackaged right. now let's say Justin's almond butter wanted to be a part of this they can um, mm -hmm. because it's something that I know is healthy good fats for them right. and it's something that I know we want to put in the boxes and so they can donate or they can also help pay for shipping because I have to pay for shipping. Right. You know, things like that. Um, they can help in numerous ways where if they want to put their stuff in there only, but the thing is I'm going to be very strict about it right. because I don't want just... Right, that's where I was, I was yeah. figuring that it, yeah. it, it could be a no because you want to, you know, have that strictness. Yes. It, so. Yeah, it can be a no, but it can be a yes okay. too. Um, so, depending on what it is. so if somebody is interested, they could contact you through yeah. the website and yes. say, this is a product that I have. Yes. Can you check to see if it's something that you guys would be interested in? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because if we can keep the cost down, um, then we can add more things into the box because ultimately, like I said, is 90% will go back in. Right. So... Yeah. And then if they were to uh, donate stuff like that, would they have like sponsorship on your website? I mean, have you figured that or thought about it? Well, that? see, the thing about that is we don't, these guys are very specific and they're, they're a whole different group or a community. And so if we start putting sponsorships of right. like, hey, this brand did this, you right. know, um, it can get a little bit tricky because right. then it takes away the validity of just the true pure okay. wanting to have it as like their ballot box, right. you know, as their donation box. But if we have So it could be like, ads, a, like a secret donation person, like they get the yes. write off and yeah. the yeah. soldiers know about it and yep. stuff like we that. We send in-kind letters and we send donation um, letters. Okay. Um, they're welcome to do a handwritten letter, but we're going to filter them right. because um, we don't want it to be like, hey, buy my stuff, things like that. Because I think about NASCAR and as much as that's, 
you know, fun to watch with my family, it almost takes away the validity of what car they're driving because right. they're slapped full of advertisements. Right. Right. And me personally, it's word of mouth and right. that's the most powerful way. Right. And that's how I have access to the, my friends that are all immersed into this into this population, in this culture. And so the last thing I want to do is slap a whole bunch of labels all over the box. Right, right. When it's not, that's not the purpose. The purpose is to genuinely help them. And if you have a product that is in the health and wellness line and does go well, they're going to notice it because they're very attuned to their right, surroundings. Right. So I don't think it's necessarily advertising in a sheet or things like that. Right. So that kind of stuff, we're, we're going to be very particular on it because we want right. to keep to the truth and integrity of the company. Awesome. So if somebody want you said to go to valorbox.com backslash donut don't donate donations donations yeah <laughs> I didn't want to mess that no, up that's okay um so how much is it to donate you can pick so you can pick your packages so okay. you can do a lower pack there's three packages basic that you can pick and you can pick a guy's first name because obviously for confidentiality reasons right we don't have anything else besides and it's a very vague area where they're going um, on purpose because. For right. their their safety, right? And so you can pick. So let's say you have a family or friend that you know that's going and that's on this team. You can pick just by their first name or their nickname. Some of them did nicknames instead, and you can pick the small, medium, or large package. The ultimate package has every, you know everything they can do or stuff that they can use for working out, but also just when they're in the field, when they're doing small training missions, things like that. Um, so there's going to be little stuff like that, or you know, you can pick those. And then some people are just donating a lump sum. Okay. Like last week, I just had a wonderful um, family just donate a thousand dollars, and then I had them. I asked them, "Do you want it to be?" Because um, it sponsored five guys, uh, and I said, "Do you want it to be one guy five boxes or five guys one box?" And so she got to choose. Okay. And then I wrote her her donation letter. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, what are the price ranges though? They range. Um, so I would say about one fifty and up. Okay. Yeah, and that'll get them some good, you know, and the thing, and yeah, that's what it is. About one fifty and up. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So as she, as she said, it's valorbox.com. Yep. Um, is there any other contact information you want to get? My the cell phone number is on there. Um, everything you can possibly think is on valorbox.com. You can also contact me directly, which is the website, right. our website. Um, there's two of us that are working hand in hand on this. So one, if it's a male, it's, his name is Tyler answering the phone, and if it's a female, it's me. So I'm Becky. So yeah, awesome. any questions? I would love to hear feedback and things like that. So awesome! Thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming on and talking to us. About yeah, it. yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. Awesome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And as always, I want you. Colorado Springs is sponsored by GlassBlast.com, where you can get all of your customized and engraved needs. Thanks, and have a great day.